I'll do some quests later, but for now, I'll just do this. Uh, auto. But it's not like we're gonna go in and find him, right? So what are we doing exactly? Oh, forgive me. I still haven't explained the details yet, have I? Since we need to stop the surveillance cameras and rescue the citizens, I believe infiltration is our best option. Usually that's not a problem for us, but what about the security? The Aizen squad makes short work of anyone who looks suspicious. I can keep However, on doing some more googling in the meantime. Then you like, how do you chance. select quests? Um, what do you mean? Do we just quests. walk right in through the front door? Just guides for different quests. Precisely. Needless to say, you can't go in looking the way um, you do. All quest rewards so and unlock requirements. And disguises that won't arouse their suspicion. Oh, I get it. So that's where we're headed, huh? Yes, we're going to get you all fitted in some kimonos. Thankfully, I know of a uh, it is a whole bunch of GP that come. they give. Oh, disguises! This is Apparently, there's 15 quests. You bet the game. Is. When Lady An sees me decked out like a samurai. Um. <laughs> Can I? Can I only do quests while I'm in the corresponding kingdom? Once we get to the end of the street. Did I screw myself? Hey, stop. Oh, Tactica. Can you only hey, do quests in the corresponding <laughs> kingdom? Other thing. What does this say? Someone answer me how the Persona 5 Tactica DLC characters in the main game works? That's not what I was looking for, but I guess I am curious about it. Can't only use them on New Game Plus. Source, I beat the DLC and start a new game to see if I have them, but can. Only use them in New Game Plus, so there's no point using DLC stuff. But... Persona 5 Tactica. How to do previous... Kingdom Quests. I'm right there with you. Why the hell is everyone just standing around? No, don't auto correct it to tactics. All Kingdom One side quests. Um, let's see here. That's right. As long as we have Lord Yoshiki's love, I. I just want to know if I get locked out. That's all I want to know. Why can't I find any info? Okay, let's help her. Uh. Level five Tactica. Can't select quests. Able to play or open quests in Persona Five Tactica. By the time I've been playing this game, never been able to play any of the quests, and I'm at my wit's end as I literally cannot get any of the GP rewards because all the quests only have three button options. Details, exit, and back. Um, you need to access quest button from the hideout menu, not the prep one. What? There are two menus with an entry for quests. That's so dumb. Ooh, I think this is one of the themes that I, uh, I've listened to from the game's OST on my own time, like, while I've been doing work work stuff. And I quite like this theme. I forget what it's called, but I like it. So this, and then we get, like, more monies and stuff. And lots of damage here. Alright, let's get accustomed to this kind of party setup. I love the soundtrack of this game so much. Beat all amazing. I mean, I love the soundtrack of Persona 5 as well, and this is just more of that really good, awesome stuff. Alright, I'm gonna be honest, I really was not paying attention to this story leading up to this mission. Okay. I just wanna play the video game. If I wasn't a content creator, I could see myself potentially skipping cutscenes of this game. Okay. Is it just these guys, or is there going to be more, I wonder? Also, wait. Firing range is, uh... I just generally see here. Looks like Joker has more range, so it'd be better for Joker to go up above. 
And Ryuji has the least. I don't know why this is a debate. Ryuji should be the one that goes down this way. Yeah, look at all his movement range. Look at this. Yeah, movement nine now. Yeah, attack master, speed master. Sweet. You can go all the way over here. So yeah, these two should be the ones that uh, go up either way here. While Ryuji goes, dang it. I guess in that case, what I'll end up doing is this. Eh? Did I not? Oh, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't letting me at first. Okay. Such a slapping theme. All right. I mean, it'll probably be the safest spot. Here, let's raise his defense as well. And then... So, if Ryuji is here, will that guy be able to get him? Can't really Persona from here. Okay, I guess I don't really need to right now. I can just end turn. I forget what the charge with him does, what it raises, but something or other. Jump of speed. Uh-oh. Ouch. That wasn't actually a whole lot of damage, though. So... Do I want to be right behind the cover here? I don't think that those guys are going to be able to attack me anyway. Hold on. I can do some good damage this way, right? Hold on. Wee okay. Okay, let's do this. If I get a one more with Joker, I'll be able to uh, move around super well with him. And Ryuji can be on this side to get this guy into the thing. So, I mean, if I just, like, do this. You? And then... Nothing stopping me from going up here. I'm not going to be able to get those guys in this, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be here so I can go up that next one next turn. Okay, but, um, if I were to say, sure, let's do, well, I guess I could have used Ryuji to take out that guy, actually, and then Joker could have gotten some damage on these guys up here. Okay, this still counts as a uh, good position. I just a single target thing here. I can't quite get there, which is unfortunate. Screw I guess I'm doing this, and then I'll melee that guy off next turn with Anne. Sure. A shot, can he not move? I guess that means no movement, right? Okay. Yeah. Another guy will be able to get me, except he didn't want to move. Okay. And from here, I can, uh... Yeah, that'll allow me to do this. Like that. You. Some good damage. Nice. Then... Of curiosity. Now that's not a one more there. Yeah, if I'm here and I say, nice. Absolutely go for that. This won't be a get him, will it? I mean, Yuji can probably just deal with these guys like this, right? Yeah. 
Q. There we go. And then we do this. Okay. Sweet. I guess it's not over yet. But we are in a pretty good position. All right, let's see here. So this is turn three, right? I still have my buffs here. Um, move six. Okay, so that was the last turn for my buffs, I'm fairly certain. I wonder if I just say, I'm going to give this a go like that. Bonk. Now he's on fire. Me pants are on fire. Okay. Uh, I should probably get the one more with Joker, but he can move a little bit more. Well, I should probably do here. Do. And then, okay, I can dash here. Yeah. Isn't really a cover spot that I can do here, but that shouldn't matter too much against this guy. Probably. But yeah, now I'm just gonna have to, like... Just so I'm not completely out in the open. I mean, Joker's already completely out in the open. Not really a big deal here, I don't think. Yeah, I do wish that it just remembered that I had fast forward on. So if I say in this, how about like that? Nice. And then just like. Did something like this. I assume this is the last guy. I've got lots of SP. And then we can just big smackaroo with the pipe. Sweet. Here we go. Any more reinforcements? Nope. That's it. That's all, it would seem. I like that quite a bit. Sweet. XP game on Satanta. Oh, just because that's a, a persona I already have, I would have otherwise gotten here. I gotcha. Let's show how much monies I got. Is it, or how much it would be increased by, by running the treasure hunter? Goes. All right, I feel like I can definitely work around this squad. You're not hurt, are you? I can definitely do so. Who are you? I will explain more along the way, but we need to leave now. You're I mean, we'll see how different their HP and SP are when they're not hyped. It is certainly a strange. I do want to stick around with like the treasure hunter and the uh, HP is more than half, less damage received, more damage dealt. That seems really strong. I don't know how much it increases my attack and defense by, but it sounds really strong. Oh, oh, look at this place. Silk Shop. So, yeah, I'm thinking Joker with a black ooze is probably going to be pretty nice. Please forgive me for asking so much of you. As I said on our way... is coming along there. Look at my pot. Building up the walls. My house cat plant will probably like that purple pot. Where is that Morgana, then? Yeah. It'd be cool if there was different unlockable outfits that you could get in a place like this, but I doubt there is. I love when games have customizable outfits. But I feel like this probably is not going to be one of them. Yeah, but that's kind of reflective of, uh... Lots of different situations like this throughout history. Yeah, wise words, Yusuke. 
Man, I wish I could hear your wise words a little bit better if the music wasn't so loud. <laughs> oh! No. Yes, of course. So, about Didn't you just ask me a question by asking if you could ask me a question? Only natural. Have you ever thought that it was even the slightest bit? My dear, all I do is run my humble silk shop. I have no complaints about my country. My only wish is to live peacefully under Lord Yoshiki's protection. Don't we all? I see. However... I can't quite decide what angle I want my chair at here. Well, I'll do it. Uh, that's a promise. Fairly certain the game's gonna force me into doing it anyway. I don't know why, but at first I thought that the kind of blurred area of the background between her body and arm, like there's kind of an equivalent of with Joker here now with his left arm. Was like some weird, gross, photorealistic fist or something for a second there. Measurements were very thorough. Okay. That's not gonna reflect different costumes that I can actually wear in game. I doubt. Most likely not. Like how Ryuji has two swords. Why doesn't Yusuke have two swords? Why does he just have one? Banana has two swords. Two swords is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Uh, basically everyone has two swords except Yusuke. He got the short end of the, st uh, of the stack. Um, looks good on you. I only have one sword. That's not even a real sword. It's a wooden training sword. It literally... It's in the corner behind my 3D printer. I don't think the camera can see it. I'm not gonna... Like, show it or anything, I don't think. Because I'm pretty sure one of the things that's against Twitch TOS is brandishing weapons. And technically my wooden sword... Use that in a thumbnail, maybe? Technically my wooden sword is still a blunt weapon. Counts as so. so. I'm sure there's lots of things you could count as a blunt weapon, like even a baseball bat, but you know, that has a different purpose. Like playing baseball, whereas something like a wooden sword is clearly something weapon like, so I'm not gonna push my luck. And then there's still Mr. Dudo at the end there. Yeah, I feel like I would have liked the look of this game a lot more if they didn't do like the 3DS uh, Q games chibi style. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better petty thief. Quite the talent you've got there. What talent? I'm still going to end up behind bars for looking like this. You don't like it? I'm sorry. I really do think it suits you quite nicely. Oh no, it's not that. I was just hoping for something a bit more natural. He still has his whole regular suit on. Okay, so that's the full art there. I I was about to say I've never heard that term before, but uh, saying. 
All right, so we're all disguised and stuff. Watch for the Sharpie on his face. I'm going to explain the entire operation, so listen carefully. All right, I'll pay a little bit closer attention this time. So what are we gonna do? I've got it all planned. But first, hear me out. I call it Operation Double Pincher Attack Mach Two. What happened to Mach One? Super lame too, but in a totally different way. Looks like this guy's got his own problems coming up with names. For this operation, we'll build out the Eugene teams. The diversion team will pose as Eisen squad members. I assume, like before, I'll still have most of my actual squad here. Eisen squad and Niji Makun's group at Pegasus. It would be great if you could come up with an excuse to throw a banquet. Who needs an excuse to throw a banquet? Just throw it! Then you can ask around for info about the facility. There should probably be a control room. If you want to throw a banquet, just do it. And also a labor camp if the rumors turn out. So, we'll infiltrate the Eisen squad. Why does he only have one sword? Yes. And the team sneaking in through the back entrance will be Everyone else that has one gets two. Sakura-kun, myself, and Yuki-san. Yuki-san too? Yes. You're doing this for our sakes. I can't simply sit by and do nothing. I know all about this town. So I should be able to help at least a little bit. I tried to stop her as well, but she wouldn't listen. In any case, our we need to have a new main character for each world. Base. After all, our team's objective is to rescue the citizens and disable the cameras. Once we get into that control room, we've got this in the bag. Once we achieve our goal, we'll leave immediately. The diversion team will then also retreat. Well, that sums up the operation. Any questions? Um, is mayonnaise an instrument? I'm getting nervous. Again, just the shake the sprite up and down. This plan hinges on the assumption that will all go well, but we may very well run into trouble. If you ever feel like you're in danger, make sure to retreat. I won't. That clear? No. Uh, well, why are you looking at me? Because clearly you need to hear this the most. Need I mention your prior record? If you act recklessly again, it could endanger I don't even remember what operation. it is that he's referring to. Now, huh? Yeah, yeah. Maybe when she got shot. <laughs> What's with this attitude of yours? Ah, this is old man Kaku Kabe Baraki. There's no such thing. That's it. Today, I'm going to speak my mind. You're... Those two seem to get along real well, don't they? Best of friends. <laughs> All right, everyone. I look so silly. <laughs> Like, I get it that it's meant to be like the hat kind of people there where they have the eyes on the, the hat. <laughs> that looks so goofy, like someone didn't understand how the hat's supposed to work. And cut themselves eye holes. So goofy. Alright, we've got some nice new outfits here. Oh. Well, we're back here. New quest has been added. Um, Persona obtained. What Persona did I just get? Um, also, I guess this is where I get to do them. Until next time. So dumb. Okay, uh, so dumb there's two different quest menus. What did I just get? Huh? Show me. Um, I had you before. Fairly sure I had you before. I've seen them before in uh, some fusion options. This is the uh, with each subsequent melee attack. Yeah, I don't, I don't need anything here. Don't need to equip anything. I don't think. All right, let's see here. Also, I'm at 50k in terms of funds. I'm fairly certain that just said, which is cool. What was I at before? Like 45 or something? Am I getting more from that treasure hunter? Yuki san you know anything about any alternate worlds? Actually, Afraid not. I've been living in this town since I was born. Here, people don't really think about what's outside. Um, was it the same for you, Arena? Yeah, for me, that country, well, world, I guess, it's all I had ever known. That's so. I'm sure you were quite surprised as well. Hmm. Well, when I first heard the story from the Phantom Thieves in Toshiro, 
was at a complete loss. Then when I thought about how there are worlds other than the one I know, I couldn't help but feel excited. I mean, the world you're all- wait, the world you're all from is so, is much bigger with all- with lots more people in it, right? Why am I struggling with this sentence? <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful place. Can you imagine like how much- like I don't really ever release it, but can you imagine how much extra fluff there is in the recordings of my video essay scripts just because of how much I struggle with words? Then <laughs> how much has to get trimmed out for the final version? Sounds like a wonderful place. No. I recommend not setting your expectations too high. The real world is an unpleasant one. Rampant with self-interested power mongers. You may not suddenly be dragged off by guards, but still, not much different from here. I mean, depends on where you live. Is that so? See, I apologize. That was an insensitive thing to say to someone who was suffering from living here. Oh, that's how you say your world is? Then I will take your word for it. Now, there are still some places where you could get dragged away, depending on what you say. But I believe that perhaps... Oh, I... That is the very reason why you phantom thieves stood up in the first place. Uh, I'm just curious what happens if I say not quite. Right. You are accused of crimes you do not commit. Forced to fight without being given a chance to clear your names. It is undeniable that there are those you've helped due to those circumstances. Things have been quite complicated. Not exactly. You're thinking about it too much, Toshiro. We all want to help people in need. Isn't that enough of an explanation? <sighs> your simplicity is truly staggering. I know being boorish is in your nature, but how about you use your head a little more? What we call society is... Wow. Ah, uh, Toshiro-san, like boars? Here at the LeBlanc Tea House, we have a meal we call curry that features boar meat. I'll start preparing some right away. Would you and Arena care to try some? No, well, that's... Oh, uh, well, I actually never said I like boar. <laughs> I'm sure I was saying he doesn't want any. You can just give his portion to me. It's not what I was saying either. I simply have my own preferences when it comes to curry. I like pork, so boar meat should be fine. Actually, I imagine the wild taste of the fat probably goes quite well with the... I have no idea how that's pronounced. Roo Rooks? I don't know. <laughs> well then, I'll start preparing some right away. Oh, by the way, Yuki-san. Oh, that's Arena. Just thanks for letting us stay here. Leave cleaning the shop to us. Oh. Oh my, that would be such a help. While I'm making the curry, I ask you to start on the seats and counter. Toshiro-san, take care of the toilets. Why do I have those? Really? Ah, Toshiro, weren't you saying how good you were at household chores? Oh, and the tools are in there. Thank you so much. All right, fine. Ugh. Why is it always me? When you say you're going to do something, you do it all the way. I'm going to show everyone the Toshiro toilet cleaning technique. All right. This is for the boar curry. Let's do this, acoustic coon. Yeah, I got some more GP here. Checking the new outfits. Let's check them out. It's Tactics Tuesday. Is it actually Tuesday? I've been losing track of like what day of the week it is. Mm. It is indeed. I guess it is indeed Tactics Tuesday. How's it going, the sandwich? All right, we've got our disguises. Now, just a little break before we start the operation. What if? You know, this shop really is something. Town outside is totally ancient Japan, but in here it's completely modern. It's even a TV. I mean, there's lots of cameras outside and right. stuff. It's thanks to that modern mod modernity, we can drink coffee. Cheers for LeBlanc. Wow, you totally freaked at first, but now it's like you're a different person. I'm doing pretty alrighty. I, uh, usually when I'm streaming, I do like to talk about stuff going on around here, just because, like, my streams and playthroughs are the closest things that I have to, like, anything journal-like, so I can go back and watch it one day and be like, oh, that's what was going on around that time. But Persona 5 Tactica here, I rarely have any chance to talk about stuff, because either there's constant text going on that I need to read, is being voice acted in that I don't want to speak too, too much over, but I still do occasionally. Um, or the actual in-game stuff where I actually need to use my brain now, now that the difficulty is ramped up a little bit. And, uh, I can't just turn my brain off and talk about other things anymore, and, uh, meh. I'm doing pretty well, um. <laughs> Except things too fast. I have no choice but to tough it up. Oh. So let me get this straight. First you were a groom, and now you're a wanted criminal. I mean, I was a fugitive too, but they sure didn't want me as much as they do you. This isn't a joke. Why am I always the one of... One, the one these things happen to. What if? 
But if you're a wanted criminal, that means you must have committed some serious crime, correct? The crime of posting cringe. Anything that comes to mind, Toshiro-san? Not quite. Sure, it's quite obvious that I have no recollection at all. Nothing more unreasonable than being chased around for some for an unsubstantiated crime. Um, have you really not done anything? It's not. At least to the extent I can remember. Oh. We were in serious trouble when it was us being pursued. We even had a bounty out on us. Huh? Uh, so if we handed over Toshiro, we could get loads of money as a reward. That's enough. What? Not even selling me out? Yeah, though. I don't presume you would get much from me. Mm. Uh, I think you could stand to have a little more confidence in yourself, you know. Excuse me. Say Toshiro-san did get captured. What do you think they would do with him? Hmm. No clues as to what this Yoshiki character wants. If we base our thinking on the ways of old Japan, we sent to a prison house and whipped, made to sit on spikes, tied to uncomfortable positions, tortured in all sorts of ways. After the confession they force out of him, Capitation if he's lucky, but most likely he'll be tied to a pole in front of the prison. Uh, I'm not sure what that all entails, but that sounds really bad. <laughs> well, that's why we're here. Make sure that stuff doesn't happen. Nothing to worry about. Right, Toshiro? Huh? Where'd he go? Please stop. Say my name so loud. There are cameras everywhere. Oh, he's totally freaked out now. Going into German mode here, Mythic? He's actually wearing the towel, too. So against it at first. Is das jetzt ein Deutsche stream? His son went through all the trouble of picking it out for me. Could neglect such kindness. I don't beg you, noble phantom thieves. I'm innocent, so please protect me. Isn't he supposed to be a tough guy now? Are we all just using our other languages? <laughs> anyway, our next move is to infiltrate the enemy base. As we start the operation, there's no telling when we'll be able to come back. Keep that in mind as you prepare. So, jetzt habe ich diese drei GP. Vielleicht sollte ich es hier benutzen. Einen Moment. Um, das ist dieses andere Ding hier. Ich sollte. Ja. Hier ist das. Vielleicht. Ja. Da. Ich habe andere Dinge hier, das ich kann jetzt benutzen hier. Um, aber was möchte ich? Um, Ja, das. Und dann sollte ich... Ähm... Warum musste ich mehr zahlen für das? Vielleicht, weil es... ...so much stärker ist? Ich weiß nicht. Das... Ja. Äh... Okay. Dann... ...will ich... Um, ja, das sollte gut sein. Und, äh, ja. <lacht> um, yeah, I can't take those off. I'm switching back to English. Um, though, honestly, it is probably, like, good opportunities for me to practice my German. I do have my, I do have my Sprach Diplom. I can do a school or work in Germany if I want, but, uh, the fact of the matter is I'm not really practicing my German all that much nowadays. One idea that I had a while back that seemed like it might happen for a little smidge was doing like a Don't Starve Together playthrough first with my uh, with my cousin that lives in another province and then another time potentially with my German exchange partner from grade 8 and then maybe do that in German and then that would be an opportunity for me to actually practice my German. Have like a singular playthrough on the channel was in a different language. Um, I don't know, sure, do that. But I don't know if that'll ever happen. My one cousin from, uh, from BC was visiting here recently and I brought up that don't starve situation to him again and he was like oh yeah I would totally be down for it like maybe sometime when both our schedules are lighter or we'll both be busy with the university me studying at a university and him being a professor at a university he's a philosophy professor <laughs> and uh so it is possible that at some point in the future I might uh I might do a don't starve together playthrough with my uh philosophy prof cousin that can teach me all about the philosophy of don't starve or something I don't know <laughs> Sure, do that. Just hit a whole bunch harder. Yeah, let's see here. I wish you knew how to actually speak another language beyond, like, saying hi in five different languages. Well, I guess that's why we're gonna have to have a German playthrough around here, and then you can slowly pick up German. Yeah, Among Us community stream, but only speaking German challenge? 
But, but most people in the community are gonna be like English speakers though, not German speakers. So I just have to like assure my innocence by speaking German. Are you saying? Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> I can't even communicate in the same language. Um, that would be kind of funny though. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, oh yeah, that's just one of those thing where Bob's there. <laughs> Nobody will understand you. It'll be great. It's just this German angrily protesting the accusations against me. I think the last time that I streamed Among Us was like 2019 for a 24-hour charity stream. And uh, one of the uh, one of the longtime friendos around the community that I played Dead by Daylight with for years, I knew that he had like some anger issues, but in Dead by Daylight, it was because it was a cooperative game. It was always directed at like the killer and the game he was getting ticked off at, never like us. All that much well a little bit us but he would always get angry in like funny ways and i would kind of laugh at him and i was having fun with that but i should have seen the warning signs about like if i start doing some other games with him like that might result in a really bad situation and i remember it was the 2019 november 24 hour charity stream that it was like 50 50 between him or carvia is the uh is the imposter because they were accusing each other and we ejected him and uh so he was out for that round and Carvio was the imposter and he got so pissed off about that 50 50 accusing one another about us not listening to him that Carvio was the imposter when he was that he just tried to ruin the game for everyone else from there just like voting in really weird ways and just like not participating in meetings at all and constantly voting for himself and it's just like man this is a, this is a freaking charity event like can you uh come on like we're doing this for fun for a good cause here so we had to switch away from among us early and i think that's the last time that i played uh i think that's the last time that i played among us and i think a couple of the mods reached out to him and said like hey you should probably apologize to harmonia for throwing that hissy fit during a 24-hour charity stream um and he never did never really heard from him again i think i uh i think he briefly stopped by a dead by daylight stream once and i was like um we should probably talk about stuff but he never really followed up past that. So I know I haven't talked to him for years. So that was the last time that I played Among Us. And it hasn't really been on the channel since. It was uh, that little fiasco there. So yeah. Um, Dead by Daylight is always the game where you blame your teammates for your skill issues. Or for your own skill. Or blame yourself for your skill issues. Yeah, he liked to blame the killer a lot in a, a lot of instances. But it was always really funny. Some of the uh, shorts that I've prepared for 2024 here. So, like, the actual vertical video shorts now that Twitch supports, like, converting your clips right into that. Do feature him, so you'll hear him yelling in some of the shorts around the channel the next year. Because it was really funny to do, like, all these shenanigans with him and stuff. But he really did not like playing Among Us. Alright, so not this menu. I might just see about actually getting some GP by, uh... So dumb that there's two quest menus and you can't actually do them from the other things. Alright, and yeah, it shows what I get for each of the things. Sure, I'm actually going to do some quests now. Rebel Scout has learned of a location containing important intel about Mario's army. This could be our chance. Yeah, reach the objective in one turn. These should be pretty short, and I should get lots of GP, right? 